Sorry for those funny shaped pieces. So I have done the whole trunk of this car. And listen to this. So everything's been primed and reinstalled. Welcome back guys and girls to Dad's Toy Garage. I am super excited. We hit a landmark for the channel. We got 3,000 subscribers. Thank you to each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel. It means a lot to me and I thank you for that support. And we are gonna be rolling right into part four of the trunk build for Project Judith Ann. And today will be a couple things happening. First of all, we have some priming to do. So we're gonna be getting out the paint gun, doing some priming. I'm gonna be throwing epoxy primer down on the structure of that trunk. And also, thank you very much, Retro Manufacturing. We have a product here, Retro Matte, and that is a special sound dampening product that they offer. We're gonna be pulling everything that we've made out of the trunk, throwing this down. And let me tell you, this stuff works really well. And it's got an extra layer of foam in there to help with the sound dampening and vibration. So that's what's gonna be happening today. And thank you very much, each and every one of you. I really appreciate the support of your subscribing to the channel. So let's get right into this. Let's have some fun and let's get her done. Let's roll. This cubby compartment is now done. And I'm matching one to it on this side that I showed you earlier. So I would like to fill this hole in the floor now. It's a jack cover access. So I'll come up with a design and I'll show you guys what I'm thinking about. I've made a little door for the jack access. Flips right over, the jack slides in there. And this is made out of galvanized thicker gauge. It's got a lot of strength to it. Um, it's screwed in here and then I've just pop riveted it to the hinge. Here are the taillight covers, just so you can see them in place. And then the panels pop right out. There's the tabs. And they're held in with magnetic latches. It'll get vinyl wrapped. There it is, one and two. So I went back to Canadian Tire and I picked up one more barbecue mat, cut it to fit. It'll come out when I need to change the spread tire. And I've also cut a rug to fit. Let's throw that on top. So there's the rug. I'm gonna get some edging put on it so it doesn't fray. It's cut to where it needs to be. And the reason for the rubber under mat is so that it's kind of waterproof. If you get something wet in the trunk, then it doesn't soak through and destroy that wood. I've pulled the tail panel out. I am going to be filling all these holes I drilled to mount some structural supports in the back. So just like we did on the exterior of this car, Imperfections were body filled using the same filter, using the U-Pull Lightweight Gold. Uh, we probably have a part number, UP0745. So that's what's on here. And that should wrap up, I'm thinking, pretty nice when it's done. Sanding's done. So we're using 120 grit. Nice coarse stuff. So it sounds fast and I got the sanding done. Came out really nice. So we're gonna prime that guy along with the other parts and I'm gonna pull the rest of the trunk parts out so we can prime them. So I contemplated a while on cutting out these four spots. Um, I wanted to keep the strength in it, but I also wanted to try and get this a little bit lighter. Um, this is just a framework anyways. So I cut them out. I think it gives it a little bit of a cool look that really you'll never see until that panel comes out. I'm sanding just the edges in here just so it's not quite so sharp because this is kind of where the battery is going to go. If I need to work on the um, fuel tank stuff, it would probably be through this port. And then right through here is going to be the charcoal canister. So I decided to go for it and I'm kind of happy I did. So I have made the decision to do the epoxy primer on all these parts so we're going to be going with the mp871 epoxy on that and just to help seal out a little moisture as mdf is very water moisture sensitive 
Uh, I think even on humid days, this should help keep these things a little nicer shape long term. So I've got half painted. We'll flip them over, paint the other side once they dry up a little bit. A little while back, guys, you saw me install some Dynamat Extreme into the cabin of the car. And recently I got hooked up with some more sound proofing material uh, by a company called Retro Sound, the same guys that hooked me up with the stereo for this car. Thank you very much, guys. It sounds awesome. Uh, we need to get this trunk a little quieter before I put the custom trunk panels into there. So what they have done is sent me out some of their retro mat. It comes in these boxes here. And the sheets, there's three sheets in there. This size. They are foam on the outside, butyl backing and foil in the middle. Um, I'm excited about this because the foam on here will add a little bit of, I think, rattle proofing for the trunk panels that go in there. And uh, also a little bit of protection uh, when I throw the jack in there and in the spare tire well. So on the box it says each sheet is 18.1 inches by 31.5 inches. And so you're getting uh, 3.9 square feet times three. So we'll get that stuff in the car. I've wiped out the trunk, I've cleaned it. And I think this will do a nice little, keep the sound down in the trunk portion, keep some of the rattles out. I'm after no rattles in the car. So let's go get that installed. So here's an up close of it. You got the foam on top, there's foil in the middle, and this is supposed to be peel and stick, so it's got the butyl on the back. And the areas I wanna do for sure, spare tire well, the wheel tubs, in this jack area here I would like to do, and I think probably the floor of the trunk where the panels are gonna sit. All right guys, I've got this piece cut to fit, kind of in the center of the spare tire well without having any wrinkles in the foam. So I'm going to peel the backing off and we're going to get her sitting in place. Or we should also do, uh, that's the before. Underneath. I think what I'm going to do is peel just half the backing off of here. Should make it a little easier to get her stuck where I want. The adhesion is pretty good guys, just gave her a little pull test. So I got her rubbed down now guys, uh, here's the sound difference. That's pretty dense already, I like it. Oh yeah, that'll be great. Even the surrounding areas like we did on the door panel test uh, for the other sound uh, proofing material you don't have to tap right on the metal it's kind of took all the sound out of everything so i would say you wouldn't have to use this on your entire car but i'm going to do the entire sprite spare tire well i feel like a little extra protection as well against putting the tire in and out hopefully we don't ever have to take it out but then we have it there so this looks like a great product guys, I'll get it done and we'll bring you back in here. All right guys, I wasn't sure if you could use this type of roller like what you'd put on Dynamat with, but you told they can, it actually worked really nice in these grooves in here. Um, and you can also cut this with either razor blade or scissors. It's a little hard on scissors, so don't use your best set. Um, we're gonna put this piece in here and I'm gonna roll it on there. Just peel your backing off. And you can overlap it onto itself, guys. That actually is not a problem. It seems to be sticking to itself. So, let's put the roller on there. It kind of helps, it kind of helps stretch that um, for, not the foam, but the foil, nice and evenly into those hard or those funny shaped pieces. So I have done the whole trunk of this car, and listen to this. 
It's very dense, guys. It's awesome. It's uh, foam on top of foil and butyl. So that'll be a very nice underlay for all of the trunk panels I have over there that are going to go in here. I just take a lot of rattles out. The one you're hearing here is just this little bolt in there. It gets tight when the tire well is in. So yeah, we're good to go. We're going to start throwing that trunk in there. Something else, guys. Always keep your scraps because this kind of stuff is a little bit pricey. No matter what sound deadening material you get. These scraps work great if you got a rattle hiding in your car somewhere. You can cut these to fit. Throw it underneath whatever is rattling in an non-visible area. Plus, I did the whole trunk and I still have a sheet left. So at some point we may open up the door panels again and throw some of this in that area. So one other thing that I'd contemplated doing and decided to do was secure this to the floor of the car. So I've done it there on that piece of frame rail and I've done it there. So now the front end of this thing shouldn't, it shouldn't be bouncing up and down. Um, the back will be held in place. You saw it earlier. It sits up against these parts here and there. So we will next put back together. I've got the trunk floor in it. So I've painted up both baggage door compartments. I just used trunk spatter paint. I scuffed up the epoxy and then I used the Duplicolor um, semi-gloss clear. Same as we did on the car. The other thing I've wanted to do uh, is build this little door. It opens up and then you can reach in here for the tail light uh, or the side marker lights. It's held on with a magnet and a hinge. And just enough so that you can get your hand in there, pull her open, but enough magnet to hold it tight really good. So that will go in the trunk like that. So everything's been primed and reinstalled. You can see since the last shot I've of having installed this has been hollowed out so I can now access whatever I need to behind there fuel tank the battery and the uh, evap I believe that is charcoal canister got one uh, L bracket securing here mm -hmm. 